From Can You Dig It to the Browns draft Malik Willis. Didn't want to skip over you here, my friend. Um, I don't like the idea. Uh, I get that you might be upset and, and worried about Baker. Totally fair. I don't think Malik Willis is better right now. I would argue he's a worse QB at this current stage. The upside is certainly there. He's a fantastic athlete. He's got a huge arm. But the level of play has not been consistent. And if you miss on Willis, that entire regime's getting fired. I would aim bigger or roll it back with Baker for one more year. But I do think Willis goes in round one. Some destinations to watch for here. Carolina at number six. Denver at number nine. The Commanders at number 11. Minnesota at 12. The Saints at 18. And the one that I'm most intrigued by is Pittsburgh at 20. A regime that hasn't had a drafted early QB in round one since, you know, Big Ben. Would they be willing to gamble on Malik Willis if he's there or even go trade up for him? It's possible from that perspective. So who will draft Malik Willis this year? Someone I think will gamble on him in round one. Make your predictions for me in the comments right now. Taylor Holland, two questions. Okay. Best small school player that could go a little bit earlier than expected. And better comp, uh, Devin Lloyd to Darius Leonard or N'Kobe Dean to, to Roquan Smith-like impact. Um, I like to do my player comps based on like size and measurables. I think they're all actually pretty decent. Um, I, I, think, I think that Lloyd will test better than Darius Leonard ended up testing this past year. Um, if looking for... Uh, so I'll, I'll go Dean and Roquan in just in terms of, obviously, if you get either of those guys, you're super hyped. Small school guy who's going to go earlier than expected. Um, does Chris, how early does Christian Watson go at a North Dakota State? The receiver. He could go maybe early day two. Other very small school guys I could see going early. Um, mm, I'm trying to think of like maybe names we haven't mentioned before at all here on the channel. Um... Does, does Tyler Algier count as a small score? Is BYU? Pr probably not. You know? Trevor Penning, we all know he's going to go earlier, so I can't count him from that perspective. But he's a small school, but we're talking earlier than expected. Now, if he goes top 10, I think that'd be earlier. I mentioned Tariq Woolen out of UTSA in my mock draft. I think that's a decent name there. Um, oh, how about Troy Anderson? Linebacker from Montana State. Impressed very well at the, com or at the Senior Bowl, and I think will measure well at the Combine as well. So another quarterback that's got a lot of drama around him, as always, is Baker Mayfield. And is he going to be with the Browns in 2022? Go ahead and type your Y for yes, or you can go ahead and type your N for no. If you want to get a question about Baker Mayfield on the show, the way to do it is use hashtag NFL. Will the Browns have Baker Mayfield? Kind of frame it like that. So Y for yes, N for no. Will Baker Mayfield be with the Browns? So St. Patrick's Day, this might be breaking news to some of y'all. It's March 17th every single year. Every single year. Harrison Graham. So if you guys want to go ahead and get some awesome St. Patrick's Day gear for your favorite NFL team, go to chatsports.com slash NFL Green. Every year, and I'm not kidding you when I say this, every year, my girlfriend looks at me and goes, what do you want to do for St. Patrick's Day? I'm like, I don't care. We can do whatever. She's like, what are you going to wear? I don't have anything green. I'm going to be honest with you. I never wear anything green. You know what I will wear, though? If it's Raiders-centric or if it's my favorite team or player, I'm going to rep that. And I can then go ahead and rep that on St. Patty's Day. So if you plan on going to a parade, if you plan on going to a party, if you plan on just getting schmacked, then you might as well do it in your favorite team's gear. So go to chatsports.com slash NFL Green. We got all sorts of stuff, not just the stuff you saw up on screen. But here's the thing, y'all. It's going to go quick, and if you want to get it before St. Patty's Day, you got to go to chatsports.com slash NFL Green. ECK Sports, possible teams for Hassan Reddick. I think Seattle would be a great destination. Any team that needs a pass rusher, and there are a lot of them, should have interest in Hassan Reddick. The number one fit, though, as far as I'm concerned, he should just go back to Carolina. Like, they need him, and I think should want him, opposite Brian Burns. It'd be a fantastic one-two punch, just like it was this past year. I'd go that route. Maybe the, the Jets or Giants, if they want some more pass rush help. Both those teams would be, I, I would argue, good fits. But any team that needs, needs a pass rusher, it's a good route to go explore. Let's go to Breeze. What do you think about Jermaine Johnson III? I think he's a sleeper in this year's draft. He was a sleeper. Jermaine Johnson about a month ago was going at like 
30s range in some mocks. Heck, there were some people that weren't putting him in the first round. Now, when you see Mel Kuyper putting Jermaine Johnson at number 13, I don't know if you could be considered a sleeper anymore. He's a good player. He's long, he's lanky, he's a good edge rusher. But if you start going in top 15 of mocks, the whole sleeper category, it, it's gone and out the window. What position is taking the most the first round of the draft? So which position gets taken the most in the first round of the NFL draft? I'll say offensive tackle because I could see five offensive tackles going in the first round. Quarterback's always going to be thrown out there. Wide receiver, we could see six wide receivers go. You know what? I'm going to go I'm going to go wide receiver. That that's going to be my answer. I could see six receivers going in the first round of the 2022 NFL draft. From Blood Wolf, thoughts on Drake Jackson for USC. You're you're banking on the upside. I, I got my notes done here. I got a second-ish round grade at least before combine and stuff. Uh, he cut down his weight, dropped 25 pounds since his freshman year. The production's always been kind of middling as well but he's got bend and burst he's young he only turns 21 in april there are flashes of those elite traits but i don't trust him right now uh, uh, against the run and he's got to add more power so i think you gamble on that type of player in day two i would i hated how much usc dropped him into coverage that was stupid by the trojans but i think there's upside there of a nice round two pick who emerges as a potential really solid edge two in the NFL. For nonstop coverage of NFL free agency, draft, trades, and more, hit that big red button and subscribe today. It is all free here on Chat Sports, and it always will be. So if you haven't already, subscribe right now. Devin Greathouse, where do you think Watson will sign you mean be traded to? I don't know. I think Carolina will go all in on him this offseason. But they are a bit light on draft capital. The Eagles and Giants have the picks. Do they want him? There's a lot of concern on that front for Deshaun. He's still, as weird as it's been, in a holding pattern for the past year-ish at this point. Final question here at the Super Chat coming up from Taylor Holland. Best value free agent signing of the last five years that made the biggest impact and the most overplayed and bust of the last five years. Yikes. So the best value free agent signing of the last five years. Dude, I'd have to really sit down at most overpaid and bust of the last five years. Well, the name that comes to my mind right away from a Raiders standpoint is Trent Brown because they made him the highest paid tackle. They put him on the right side. Essentially paid him $76,000 per snap. So that's an absolute bust. In terms of the most overpaid, is, can anybody think of a super overpaid or underpaid free agent? That's the thing. Zeke, Zeke wasn't that. Uh, let me come back to me. Message me on Instagram, Taylor. I'll try to give you a better answer. But going back to the past five years is never an easy thing to do.